The demolition of a nearly 100-year-old home has now ignited a pretty passionate battle. The controversy highlights the ongoing tension between historical preservation and development trends that are reshaping communities all across North Texas. Our Brooke Rogers today is in Highland Park. First, neighbors gathered for a block party on Fairfax Avenue in a sign of solidarity and protest for a house with a death sentence. So it had been a wonderful family home for many, many years. Um, it was perfect scale for the neighborhood. Last week, the wrecking ball arrived. Well, I mean, it's heartbreaking anytime we lose an old house. Um, they've been a part of our community for such a long time. And we want that home to continue our traditions of quality architecture and beautiful, well thought out design. But the builders say when they saw the inside, they learned that most of the architectural elements were removed decades ago. This house was chopped up back in the 70s. Half of the house was broken down, added all the modern two-story um, sliding doors, modern windows, different doors. Rosie Sammy says she and her husband, who have been building homes for 30 years, intended to renovate to create their retirement home. The house that everybody says it's, it's an architecturally historic house, it's not an architecturally historic house. Sammy, who is Persian American, says what's most disappointing are the racist attacks she's received on social media. Says white people would never tear down a beautiful house like this. I just knew it would be people like you. Beal says her goal is only that this house and others will be rebuilt to last another hundred years. It is our hope that she looks at the block, that she looks at the scale that she looks at the community and builds something that's high quality design. Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.